Hey One Tribe family. Hi everyone. This is your midweek update. Hope you guys are all doing well and keeping safe. We are missing you guys so much. Um, I can't believe we are already in June. It's crazy. I haven't even had a haircut this year. <laughs> um, uh, I hope you enjoyed the start of the Heaven series at church uh, on Sunday. If you were able to, to tune into that online. Uh, very cool to just get our eyes fixed on eternal things. Uh, we're going to be sending you a devotional series along with that, so keep an eye out for it. Um, I was also really encouraged by the prophetic word that was shared during worship on Sunday. Um, just this picture of God uh, creating new life uh, under the surface uh, in, a, in the hidden place. Um, and actually, uh, we feel like God's been speaking to us a lot about this, the similar themes. Um, just this idea that uh, during this time when, when things are hard on the surface and, and we have found a lot of things to be really tough during this season, just this encouragement that, that God is at work uh, in the hidden place, that God is at work doing a really deep thing uh, in us as individuals and as a family and, and also as a church. And hopefully that, that's an encouragement to you that even if you're finding this a time where you really have to persevere uh, through things that God is able to do amazing things in our lives and in us as a body that are going to bear fruit in the future that are actually going to be really really good for us and bring glory to God as well yeah I've been really challenged not to get uh, stuck in wishing for the old but actually trusting God that even in this really hard and difficult time he would be doing something new in me in our body um, in our nation, in this world. Um, so it's just a bit of a mind shift really to to keep our eyes open and our hearts open, asking God to to show us what new thing is he doing. Um, I think we can trust God that he is at work uh, for our good. Yeah, there's a really cool passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And this is the message version, Paul writing to the church in Corinth who are going through a lot of trials. Uh, and he says, so we're not giving up. Uh, how could we? even though on the outside it often looks like things are falling apart on us on the inside where god is making new life not a day goes by without his unfolding grace these hard times are small potatoes compared to the coming good times the lavish celebration prepared for us there's far more here than meets the eye the things we now see uh, are here today and gone tomorrow but the things we can't see Will last forever yeah so we really hope that this is an encouragement to you let's keep on uh, asking god to show us what is he doing in us what does he want to do around us and trusting him during this really hard time mm. and if you have been particularly affected by this season and if you're really struggling and we do have a mercy fund that's set up under the church that's really there to serve and support uh, people that belong to the one tribe family and that could be um if you've been prayed in as a member of one tribe or if you are currently serving or if you are in a in a life group um, the application form is now online so please go to our website fill it in and submit it and the mercy team committee is more than ready to have a look at your situation and we hope that we can help you in this time just a reminder that um, in a couple of weeks time in the last weekend of june there's also a pamoja course online. Pamoja is our uh, membership course for the church. If, if you've been attending One Tribe for a while and really want to get plugged into the life of the church, understand a bit more about our, our vision and our values and what it means to be part of the body, uh, we would encourage you to sign up uh, for that course. Uh, another request that, that's come about is that we've got a couple of families who are very closely connected uh, to the church who could really uh, use some accommodation, short-term accommodation during this time in Nairobi. Uh, one of those families is the Kaniki family. Many of you will know Sheshi and Trudy who lead the church in Dar es Salaam, God's tribe. Uh, they are here for a season as Sheshi continues to receive uh, medical treatment. And um, so if you know of somebody who needs some house sitters, uh, please let us know the Kanikis and a couple of other families uh, may well benefit uh, from that during this time. Yeah, and last but not least, on Sunday, it's Father's Day. So let's go out of our way to spoil our fathers, our husbands, our brothers, uncles, any men in your life, um, they deserve to be celebrated. Kids, um, I hope you 
do a thousand cards for your dads and just spoil them in a big way. We really do love and appreciate all the men and fathers in our lives. Amen. Amen. Well said. <laughs> Uh, we'll also be celebrating uh, in church on Sunday, so we look forward to seeing you there online. Have a great week, everyone, and God bless you. God bless you guys. Bye. Bye.